how to calculate ovulation for a Saturday cycle. In this video today, you are going to learn how to calculate your ovulation if your cycle runs for Saturdays. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. Remember to subscribe for new videos we put out every day. Without further ado, the ovulation cycle for a Saturday calculation specifically begins with us having this example. We are taking an example of the month of August and assuming you started your periods on 3rd and then you saw your periods on 4th and then you saw your periods on 5th. Let's say a show three days in your periods. If we want to calculate your ovulation date or the date when you are most likely to get pregnant, the day when you are releasing a mature egg, also known as a graphene follicle, let's say we have to begin counting from the first day you saw your periods. If you saw your periods on third, you saw your periods. Sorry about that. If you saw your periods on 3rd and then 4th and 5th, we're just taking this as an example. It could be any other day. It could actually even be 2nd. So, assuming you see your periods on 3rd, 4th and 5th, and you want to cal calculate your ovulation date, you s simply get the first day you saw your periods, which is on 3rd, and then you count the three days you are going to be into your periods but the counting has to begin from the first day when you saw your periods and then you specifically count 14 days from the first day you saw your period remember once again we've said that you saw your periods on third you saw it on fourth and then you saw it on fifth so count 14 days beginning with the first day you saw your periods so we shall say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so the fourteenth day which is actually is going to be a sunday on sixth uh on sixteenth the fourteenth day is your date of ovulation specifically this is the day when your hormones that is uh, luteinizing hormone and estrogen are at their maximum when we look at the ovulation calendar you notice that during the 16th day your hormone that is the luteinizing hormone and the estrogen hormone are at their peak this is the date you are ovulating and this is the date you are most likely to get pregnant assuming when you have a saturday cycle assuming you spent three days but if you spent four months i mean if you sorry about that if you spent four days let's say you you started your periods on second still the same method applies you have to begin counting from the first day you saw your periods and that is let's say let's take an example of second you still say one two three is that those are the days you've spent in your period so to get your ovulation date simply count 14 days but strictly you have to begin from the first day you saw your periods so we shall count and say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so your ovulation date or your date of ovulation is going to be 15th the formula is that you have to begin counting from the first day when you've seen your periods and then count 14 days it doesn't matter where the date is going to fall but you just have to count 14 days if you saw your periods on 9th still you just have to count 14 days and you shall we shall say one two three and then of course those are the days you are in your messes we go back to the first day you saw your periods and we shall count and say one
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So still your date of ovulation is going to be on Saturday 22nd, assuming you started seeing your periods on 9th. Your date of ovulation is 22nd, which is actually on Saturday. So in what we have to learn from today's lesson is that you simply have to begin counting from the first day when you see your periods and then count 14 days. On the 14th day, there is an allowance of 3 days upwards and then there's an allowance of three days backwards. In other words, if your ovulation date is 19th, taking this as an example, we have to we give an allowance of three days back and then three days in front. The main reason for this is that the two hormones, luteinizing hormone and LH, when they rise, they rise over a period of time. They rise over a period of number of days. You can never tell because when the egg is released, the female egg is released, it lasts for at least 12 to 24 hours, whereas a male sperm survives for at least up to five days. So to increase your chances of getting pregnant, if your ovulation date is on 19th, it's always advisable that you be with your partner, play sex around the, the, the two days prior to, one to two days prior to. If you're seeing your ovulation, if your ovulation predictor kits are telling you that yes, your LOH or the luteinizing hormone levels are high, the cervical mucus is thick and sticky, your basal body temperature has risen, all these are indicators of ovulation. So it's advisable that at least you be with your partner one day or two days prior to. You could actually be together for the whole of this week, for the whole of this period. The chances of getting pregnant are really increased. Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. Let me know if you have any questions. And as we are summarizing in today's video, we've talked about the calculation of ovulation date or the, the calculation of the date of ovulation for a Saturday cycle. And we have said that if you started your periods on this date, this date and this date, you calculate your ovulation date by simply beginning from the first day. You saw your periods and then count 14 days. It doesn't matter where the 14th day is going to fall. It could actually be here. It could be you count 14 days and then on the 14th day, add three days in front, three days back. That is your fertile window. The days you are most likely to get pregnant. And then the 14th day specifically is when the egg is released or is when ovulation occurs. Thanks a lot for staying with me for this for this far and I hope you've learned something. Let me know what you've learned in the comments. Ask me all your questions. I will answer them personally. But please, this is our challenge for today. Let me know what you've learned in today's lesson. And please remember to share, subscribe for new videos I put out every day. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. And please share with me. Connect with me on all my social media handles, but also you could also submit all your questions. If you want to talk with me personally on my WhatsApp, it is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six. That's my WhatsApp is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six. Subscribe for new videos I put out every day. You'll be the first to get the videos I put out. May God bless and protect us all. And please see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you, my friend, for attending today's lesson. I hope you have learned something. And please, if you have any questions in regards to what we've just discussed, leave your questions in the comments. Ask me your questions. I will answer all your questions. On this channel, Gerard Massa, the health educator, I talk about women's health. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. And may God bless us all. Bye-bye.